the horrible American tradition of prom, big tug. Oh yeah, I mean, God. title title is pretty much very, very accurate. I don't know what they're yeah. doing with prom these days. I mean, I saw one prom, and they had this whole Disney before she came out. She had her uh, fairy godmother grant her wish and everything, and, and then she walked along this long stage for prom, a going prom, like whatever you call <laughs> it, send-off. Well, what? Yeah. People spending more money on send-offs than they are for, like, actual dress or the prom ticket. Yeah, prom is a concept, and, like, obviously, our opinions are all our own, and obviously how yeah. I feel about prom is subjective, but I have no, I didn't care for prom, I didn't want to go to prom, I was basically forced to go to prom, and prom was still awful for us, but that, that was just here, and what our dream was, so, yeah, I don't, I don't really got nothing to comment on prom, I never really liked prom as a concept, I'm just here because, <laughs> shout out, shout out Tug, that's the girl. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, right, but yeah. so let's see what Tug got to say. Original video will be down in the description below, and let's get into it. Prom. I usually have something silly and fun to say at this point in the video to get it moving, but I don't... What is prom? What the hell is going on here? It's a teenage rite of passage. We have a bunch of movies and TV shows based around mm -hmm. the concept, and we put a bunch of pressure on the kids to make sure they enjoy it, but, like, it's just a dance. Why is it such a big deal? It's just a room full of awkward 17-year-olds who are trying their best not to get boners. That's not interesting to me. This ritual began in the 1800s based off of the eyes wide shut parties the elitists would throw called uh, debutante balls or coming out parties, which has no relation. So at its very essence, prom started as Illuminati cosplay. But even the name prom is pretentious. Do you know Wait, where the name prom proms? comes from? <laughs> I didn't until I made this video. It comes from the old southern fancy what term of promenade, which means couples uh -huh. follow one another in a given direction. Each couple has both hands joy, yeah. which would be cute if proms weren't that. just so teenagers rubbing butts to little John. Throughout the 20th century, yeah. the ritual of proms <laughs> spread out across this great nation my as a popular like, way. My thing is like, you know what I'm very curious about? I just want to know the adults' perception of what they think is going to go on because obviously most adults have had a prom themselves. That's mm -hmm. why they're encouraging their kids to go to it. But what do you, what do you, like, I'm not sure if adults be thinking that their prom is gonna be what our joint would be like or like i'm not sure what it is because yo I, I parents love gassing up prom to go to prom i do not know why they like this but i, I what i think it is and yo i mean again my opinion is my opinion if you think i'm wrong gladly let me know i think y'all just trying to relive your life through your children but that's that's besides <laughs> oh not my i mean trust you don't want to relive my boring existence but like yeah um yeah i always wondered that i'm like yo they just be so interested it's there. not the same I don't, it, I mean, it, it's, it's truly not the same, so for kids of all social classes okay, to present totally themselves as freshly Christian adults. They put on fancy clothes, <laughs> secretly drink alcohol, and announce to the world, hey, I'm ready to make children. Oh, Tucker, you, a 17-year-old ready to bear children? That's gross. Well, you also have to realize yeah, that the average age of a bride in 1920 was 21 years old, and that's uh, an average. So that means a lot of them were younger than 21, and I don't oh. want to talk about it anymore. By the wow. 1940s, the concept <laughs> of teenager <laughs> entered the American zeitgeist, and advertisers started marketing directly to this untapped customer base. Soon, proms shifted from high school gymnasiums to lush locations, like hotel ballrooms, country mm -hmm. clubs, and even yachts if you grew up in the Nantucket. Today, it's estimated that the prom industry is worth or outside, because, you know, your prom was during COVID, but, you know. <laughs> Four billion yep. dollars annually. <laughs> mostly due to teen-led prom committees that pick outlandish themes for their toddler grinding session. And parents who don't know that buying an $800 pink sparkle dress is not a good investment for a one-night deal. So let's exactly. all take a look at I, I'm, I'm sorry. This I have to agree with that. I'm I said just... earlier, it's got to be the parents want to reliving life through their child. Because if you are willing to make this garbage behind investment... Like, bro, you're clearly just not thinking at all. You're only thinking on a nostalgia tip. You're not thinking I, any, oh, like, bro. That's why, like, yo, my suit, I forgot how much my suit cost, but I I, I, I just know, it wasn't even that much, obviously, because you know us, we not spending that much cheese on, <laughs> on anything. You, bro, we buy a knockoff cereal. You think we about to spend a band on a suit? <laughs> Hell, come on, bro. But, like, yo, even with the price of what my John was, because I had to get a tailor and all that, bro, I'm cringing. I'm like, bro, I don't even want, I don't even want to go. I'm about to spend 300 plus dollars on a suit? Like, yo, mm -hmm. this is crazy, bro. That you never wear again. I and, yo, I look good in that suit, though. I ain't gonna did. lie. I ain't gonna hold you. Now, let me stop playing, bro. I got But I don't know. I just, I, I, as a parent, I just have a problem with just, like, these parents nowadays. I, I don't know what, what they're doing or what they're thinking. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? Prom, prom. Because that's how I was like. Oh, you want to you wanna go to your prom, you know, when you're high school. That's just part of your high school thing. That's, the, that's just the thing to do. But now, like I said in the beginning, like, what are they doing? How come they got these big banners and... and pictures and drinks and cups and plates and a party and everything's matching 
for a fifteen what, minute send off. It's, it's a it's a yeah like it's the promenade. We supposed to be doing jump, but like realistically though, maybe back in the day it was the promenade. But the prom now consists of you either twerking on somebody, you're sitting in a corner looking dumb because you mm-hmm. don't socialize on with your phone. Or, yeah, or you're on your phone in the middle of the gym. Like, bro, the prom is dead, You're not bro. eating the like, food. Where we, <laughs> show, we definitely not eating that garbage food. Or you could like, be, I like, even... their group, okay? I, like, I just left. And I come like back too. home here yeah. and be jumping on a trampoline in all their prom gear. Yeah, good. I mean, <laughs> that was more of an, that was a better investment. They said if, they had fun doing that. Yeah, that's what I say. That was a better <laughs> investment for my suit than actually going was. So, I mean, that's tough. I go to, bro. Like, what exactly goes tough, into prom like, and find out just exactly how stupid this whole ordeal is. Because if it's an American tradition, you know it started somewhere stupid. God bless this beautiful country. Getting ready. Here we go. So, I'm going to do this chronologically in order so that we can categorize every dumb thing that happens on prom night. The beginning of prom starts way before the underpaid teacher breathalyzes you at the front door. Weeks before the big day, you've already spent countless hours thinking about prom. There's a lot to do and the stakes are high. Well, relatively high. You're 17 years old. You haven't really now. dealt with a lot yet. But it's understandable why kids are so worried about prom because the narrative surrounding this night is always overblown. Even seemingly mm-hmm. rational adults will tell you it's a night you're never going to forget, prom. which is crazy. I got because it. I- well, I didn't the forget. Narrative is it's prom. No, the, narr- the narrative is prom, but I-, I can really comment on what Tug just said because it's supposed to be like an unforgettable night. But the problem with that is the part I remember most is not being at prom. That, that <laughs> That's the crazy being thing. Being here. Like, I remember being on the trampoline, being at the arcade that we went to because I wasn't staying at the venue. Like, bro, that's what I'm saying. It's so stupid. And especially, imagine a gen, a gen alpha prom. Are we, are we, re- are we, are we serious? Like, it, the gen Z prom was already trash. Like, I don't, what, what is they doing? Oh man, you gotta make sure you got your skibbity badge when you walk in. Like, bro, what are we? Listen, talking I about? don't understand like, how. Like, it's just <laughs> sis, a gay ass me sis, came home the same time I got home. I remember I walked in, driving them off, <laughs> coming, driving back home. I said, I know that ain't the car outside mm, behind us. Is. Yeah, <laughs> they left. <laughs> and I would have left too. Like, bro, prom sucks now. Like, it's just not fun. Like, I had to dig through picture albums to figure out if I actually went to it or not. So let's take a look at all the little things that stress high schoolers out even before the night of prom begins. Of course, the first order of going to prom is finding yourself a date, which is mm-hmm. a nightmare. If you're one of those off-putting couples that have been together since freshman year, then you've got it covered. You don't have to go around looking for people, off-putting. but you are weird. I don't want to trash on, like, the concept of true love and high school sweethearts, but those people, they always have... <laughs> Is that time? They're they're a major minority, bro. In high school, high school love, or you think you about to have like a what's it called? What he said? I forgot the term. Um, when, what? When, when you high school lovers, what, what's it called? High school sweetheart. High school sweetheart. Yeah, bro. That that don't only really exist in anime and movies, bro. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'ma just let y'all know. Oh, he married or she married her high school sweetheart. A, adult troll gonna let y'all know, bro. If you think this about to happen, bro, I'm, I'ma just let you know. You got like a ten percent chance, maybe. I ain't gonna hold you. Spe- in this gen, nah, never mind. In this gen five, <laughs> like I like it, it's cooked. Five I ain't hold you. you know, for everyone else, it's time to go on what I call the charm offensive. This used to mean just walking up to someone you might have a crush on and asking them out to prom, maybe doing it a little bit in a corny style with some flowers, maybe some chocolates if she's a muncher. But just simply asking someone out to prom nowadays will not even come close to cutting it in the year 2024. You know the simple (laughs) acts of love and tenderness that human beings are so desperate for and that we need to fill our full lives? Yeah, that's not what the girlies are looking for anymore, buddy. They want to go viral. They want to get the clicks. I was literally, yo, Mm -hmm. I didn't want to, I didn't want to pause because I didn't want to really be pause merchant, but that was exactly what was going through my mind. I'm like, first of all, that little corny thing where you do the, do do with the sign and y'all, that's cute, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. But not at, not in this day and age, bro. Nah, you're, you're you're going viral on TikTok and not for the good reasons. Like, bro, I, I ain't gonna hold you as dead. Like, yo, if, if a girl tell you in this day and age she wants you to do that, just know you that is terrible advice. Like, let, let's just not do that. It, it, it's a simple. You want to go to prom or not? Nah, I don't I don't understand what we doing on this for. <laughs> because again, we did all this, and I'm still not gonna remember this night. So who even cares? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't even matter. I'm like, yo, bro, you want to go to the prom or not, nah, bro? Like. Yo, you want to come out with the whole bouquet. Yo, don't be like me when I had to ask on my ex-girlfriend, bro. Don't be like me, bro. You need to... Only thing you need to come with is a question. It's either they feeling you or you not, bro. Because even if you came with all this extra junk, what if you get rejected? Now I really look stupid. Mm-hmm. And I'm a million views on TikTok. And I'm getting exposed in a group chat. It's like, bro, nah. <laughs> it's cooked. Like, bro, it's just not happening. I'm letting y'all know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nah. of the promposal, a phrase that tastes yeah, like dirty pennies when it, it leaves my mouth. At its core, that a promposal is combining the teenage aesthetic with Ew. the public presentation of a yeah. wedding proposal. Generally, Ew. it consists with a bunch of people running up to a girl with a big sign that has something funny written on it while everyone films with their phones. Mm -hmm. You know, a nice tender moment with all the privacy of someone who just survived a car accident. But even then, the most popular mm. girls in school are not going to say yes to a simple sign. They're going to want something a little bit more. Maybe a lot of bit more, honestly. Yeah, they want actually, spectacle. Right? They want pizzazz. <laughs> they want something you need an engineering degree to pull off. One guy wrote prom on 500 ping pong balls and then stuffed them into this girl's locker so when she opened them up, it would all pour out in an obnoxious way. Then there's this other kid who got the whole school And then what? What do you what do? What do you do if you get rejected? Like, this is what we're not talking about because, yeah, you'll do all this and what is she not feeling you? Because, the, no, the actually, matter of fact, the only reason that you're even doing anything like this is already because if you're confirmed, gonna, like, get it, yes. Yo, who is getting five, who is taking the time to buy 500 ping, uh, ping pong balls? Write prom at every single one. Put it in the locker. Make sure that boy don't keep falling out. Close that boy. Exactly how? Watch the, I don't know how you get Watch to like see her do it. Walk up. Obviously, because you asking her prom. And then she be like, oh, no, I already have a date. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Yo, y'all are I crazy. I decided not to go. If you're still doing this, this is a nah. 2000s and a, and a mid 2010s type, John. And in 2020, bro, I'm telling you, you better off just sending them a freaking meme on TikTok group chats to, to <laughs> ask them about the problem, bro. You you better off, bro. Don't do this. You are going to embarrass nah, yourself. Nah, about to sing. And if oh, that's the, gosh. I guess if that's like the incel in me, y'all, because I, you know, had them bulls beat, and it's the incel in me. But bro, I'm trying to tell you this is not a good idea. Unless you confirmed already got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not Band to play can't take my eye off you while he serenaded his target and i mean hats off to you kid nah, if you got a crazy. voice and you can oh. sing sing for a woman i guess but just the idea of serenading just, somebody just, just, just reminds me of one of those horny birds in the galapagos islands huh? that you know do the little dances oh nah and I always nah. to he bold though i give it to him he, he got the whole band involved i know i just find it very embarrassing to sing yeah. for a girl the point is you can't simply ask the algorithm what won't allow it you gotta go the viral chicken? you gotta what make your feel yeah I, I, would you be the chicken to my nugget at Nah, I'm it, done. you know, it, it, you know what that, you looks, know, that looks I, psycho i respect this one out of, out of better than the singing one because hey at least it was funny the other joint just cringe now nah, that, <laughs> look, that looks psycho this, but this is that somebody this inside could be of looking. Nah, this is supposed to be a meme, obviously. But like, right. I like this more to, because this is funny in Mimi than the singing John. Because yeah, I get it. The singing John is sentimental, but bro, we're in the age of skibbity toilet. They don't care about sentimental. You're going viral for what? looking like an idiot. Skibbity like you know nugget, what I'm saying? Bath. You know what I mean? This this that looks like two twenty pieces. This in twenty twenty four is more romantic than the singing John. Like it's because you can't simply ask. The yeah. algorithm won't allow it. You gotta go viral. You gotta make your feelings content, and that's what I do. And I. I'm fine. You have I'm to make your feelings content is the most accurate <laughs> statement I've heard this year. Yo, y'all, I wasn't even trying to crash out today, but that, yo, what Tug just said, I'm going to have to write down on my book, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Everybody want to turn their feelings and everything in the content. It's so bad. Everything and I guess that's content. hypocritical because I'm sharing my feelings about a topic making content. Mm -hmm. So you, you could really say that's hypocritical, but I feel like that is so facts. That is like, actually. Look at that. Where do swear come from? My See how he's so dis Oh yeah, I meant to tell you about content. that. Hold on, and that's wait, wait. what I do. Yeah, this, yo, this is uh, this is Jimmy's new website. It's called View Stats. Yeah, my, I, I, that's I, I, what it's called. View Stats. But you okay. know, how YouTube analytics has a general? right. Yeah. Or you can go on. What, what was the other? Social Blade is a website where you usually look it up. Yeah. But at least he, at least he made money. Remember, he kept saying he was he wasn't gonna get paid for it. I didn't think it, it was look, gonna get taken down because ours ours didn't get yellow marked either when we reacted to it. I I didn't think it was gonna get taken. Wow, look at that. 2000 to 6000 he could he could make yeah. between Get your money I'm not your funny cuz I ain't making I ain't even making 20 million views on that wow I did. I'm, fine. I'm doing great. I'm not grinding my teeth in my sleep due to overwhelming guilt and pressure. Composals are getting so extravagant that even large corporations and companies are jumping in on the ability to make money off these kids. Even the Empire State Building is selling promposal packages. For $250, what? you can promposal on the 86th floor observatory with massive letters that spell out prom. The no. Excuse me? No. No, they meant them big white no. letters, please. You're retarded if you buy this. I don't care. They that's, mean... that's that's not an opinion or subjective. Please. You're objectively retarded if you please do this. Don't tell me. You are objectively you stupid. Two hundred fifty dollars like, to go to a tourist yes. area that you can already yes. you already got to pay to yes. get up there. 
No, but I hope that included those big white letters and not them one on that I cardboard. Know. I don't know. Probably not. I doubt it. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I don't know. <laughs> obviously, obviously, I, I, I don't know the full context on it. I just think even with the context that we got from this, two hundred fifty dollars <laughs> to ask someone a question or no, to ask someone a single question that they could reject you for, yeah, bro, you pay for this, you're dumb. What happened to? Would you like to go to the prom with me? Yeah. Oh uh, no. Okay, thank you. Like for and I know there's heads calling me queen and whatever your name. It's not about that, but bro, I'm not even gonna lie. What to is it about bro. then? That that's the one question that they won't be able to answer. And two, it's like, bro, are you really gonna go through this much effort for this, John, bro? For one time, it's like I get it. If you want to do something special for your significant other, your soul, that's that's totally fine. But you're doing all this, especially yo. See, this this is where this like whole conversation gets in. And for me, for the yet, because there's so many directions you're going with this. Because I would imagine. The only reason you should be doing a promposal, you shouldn't be doing a promposal for if you already got a girlfriend or boyfriend. This that is stupid. Like I, honestly, at that point, you you're literally on FOMO timing. Mm -hmm. Like you're actually on FOMO timing. Like bro, y'all already date, bro. You know who you're going to the prom with. I'm not giving you a sign. Like bro, come on, bro. What you want a hug? Like <laughs> you're tweaking, bro. So you only do the promposal, and now you're at, you already had a 50 50 chance. I don't like those odds, bro. I'm not a I'm not a bull. Yeah yeah yeah. know how I get. I don't gamble, bro. Nah, I don't like them odds. I'm gonna do all this. And there's still a chance of being rejected, and then that that's just that's just the tiny. If she just be like, nah, cool, bro. We live in 2024. Like I said earlier, you're on TikTok, you're in a group chats, bro. You became a meme for this, <laughs> nah, bro. I'm cool well, off that. And bro. if that's what you want to do, I'll just go be lame. Ahead. That's what you want to do. Packaging anyway. clean. Some romantic lame. lighting along with two champagne flutes filled up with sparkling cider, which Why? is cute. But wouldn't this moment be reserved for people who are like? actually proposing you know exactly. fuck it. no let's not give this beautiful moment to people who are going to spend the rest of their lives with each other let's give it to two kids who are going to hate each other by summer next up let's <laughs> exactly. talk about the attire the silly exactly. clown like the attire outfit. the dress code oh, of prom God. is one of the weirder aspects of the night you know, know when you overdress a baby no i'll be honest though i will be honest and not to yap on this but yo the, the uh prom 2024 or whatever y'all transition on tiktok was fire i'm gonna keep it a stack y'all transitions was hidden what the you outfit mean? transitions like how they would go you know how you know how people do them transition like they got a new hair or whatever like you know i'll be doing that i dye my hair and i do a transition right. from new to jump they was doing that like normal clothes into their suit and dress i thought it was oh, fire. okay the trend oh, was tough the transitions okay yeah but the sign and john nah, i'm still off with y'all them prom poses dumb crap yeah we gonna leave that alone. them to church on easter because it's cute well that's kind of the vibe of prom just children emulating what they think adults would wear to fancy events and missing the mark Not by several hundred days. yards so let's start with the tux with the fellas what the dress code is usually wearing? formal or black tie and honestly this might be the only time in your entire life where you're gonna end up wearing a tux which i bet you kids mm -hmm. didn't know that but as an adult you don't really wear tuxedos ever mm -hmm. at all most like weddings what? i've been to aren't you even would, black tie i'm about to say like i'm gonna say not even weddings they a, don't even, a, a wedding but it depends on color coding yeah and they're a whole not bunch even doing that in tux anymore like because <laughs> he's because, yo, y'all not gonna wanna hear this, bro. It's because traditional, traditional norms, bro, are dying. I'm sorry to tell y'all, traditional norms are dead. Like for all y'all red people, uh, they be like, yo, I wanna be in a traditional relationship. That's really cool for you, gang. But most of the world ain't on that no more. I'm sorry, bro. Like it, it, it's really cooked. Like I don't know what to tell you. What tradition? Not, saying that, <laughs> not not to say like not to say that uh, traditional Jones okay. If you wanna live that type of lifestyle, cool. I'm happy, yo. I'm happy as long as other people are happy, bro. Y'all mm -hmm. living a whole separate life. So if you smiling, bro, I'm smiling for you, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I'm gonna live my own Jones though. But yeah, like nah, I, I don't know what they got going on here, bro. Like this, this is 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 dumb to me. I I just I just can't conceptually understand it. But I guess I'm unk now, cause prom for the seventeen year old bulls. I, I'm not seventeen no more, so that's tough. I ain't gonna lie. You just wear a nice pair of chinos and a, and a fancy dress shirt. I think the entire tuxedo industry is being held up by teenagers and butlers. And also, what the <laughs> fuck is going on with tuxedos? It's like a weird online like version tuxes. of tuxes a suit. All, all, all clothing technology has stagnated with this particular fit. For example, the tuxedo shirt. What the fuck is going on what here? It's got this? all these weird slats, what like it's this? window blinds for your bare skin. <laughs> then it has terrible. holes, but no buttons this for those holes. Instead, it has like these metal studs that attach through the butt. Like, buttons are way more simple than whatever the fuck's going on here. What is this archaic form of fastening? Are you afraid of buttons? Do you think poor people only use buttons? Rich people love buttons. And that's just the shirt. Then you got to get like a vest, a bow tie, a jacket. You end up looking like a... <laughs> Yeah, cause and I hate Tug. Tug makes me so mad on this, John, because I'm thinking about our like I was just talking about our whole process of me going to prom, and this is accurate, and it really pissed me off. I'm sitting there in the in, in the freaking uh uh the dressing room, John, trying on my pants. My pants don't fit because I'm big body, you know what I'm saying? Big calf, track runner. I'm like I'm big body in this boy. I'm like bro, I don't. I'm doing all this. I'm struggling, bro. I'm telling my girlfriend who hates her life, making me hate my life. I'm like bro, I don't even want to go. I'm going through all this, John. If it wasn't for this girl. I would not be going, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. The process. 
Y'all do what y'all want, bro. Y'all have fun too, though. I ain't gonna Magician, lie. Magician, you don't look cool. And those weird pocket handkerchief things. What I are you gonna like do with that. that? What are you gonna do with the handkerchief? You're gonna blow your yeah, nose you into that cool. baby elf blanket, put nah. it back in your pocket. I know you're nah, renting this thing. That's nah, not gonna. The handkerchief is like twenty dollars. Um, handkerchief is a lot. No, I just <laughs> never understood that. Even you wanna go traditional back in the days, like. The I, handkerchief thing, like, just the overall the point of a handkerchief, blowing your nose and then stuffing it It's back supposed to be in. like a tissue they use. Yeah, but, like, but then when you open it back up, nasty, the stuff is still nasty. there. It ain't dissolved. Nah. And if, <laughs> the funny thing is I hate to bring this up like the anime bull, bro, but I see this a lot in the joint, too. Like, they'll, they'll give somebody a handkerchief and they'll be like, yo, keep that joint. Because, word, I'm not. You blew your nose. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, even yeah. if the handkerchief mine, I don't want that one. <laughs> You might as well, you better off throwing that boy out. I got a new one. Tissue. <laughs> hey, that boy's tweaking. I'm like, yo. <laughs> It'll work. But I mean, at least with the tux, you hardly have to think about it. If you're lucky, you get to rent one for like a hundred bucks. You hang out with the boys for a night and then you bring it back to the strip mall the next morning. But the prom yeah. dress, that's a whole different beast. That's a whole different monster. Dads of daughters, bless your hearts because for the next few weeks, your life is going to be an expensive disaster. The market for prom dresses is valued oh at over $777 yeah. <laughs> million. A billion dollar specifically for high school prom dresses, bro. Dang, they can they can sell y'all anything, bro. But nowadays actually, they only wear a piece of um, piece of material in the one, two, three areas. Actually, it, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. Mm, mm. I, I that handkerchief that was I'm in that not, pocket. I'm not that's all they got on. That. I'm not even commenting on that. Cause I, I don't know, know what these girls are wearing. I'm gonna I'm gonna just have to let mom cook on that one. But my thing, the thing I was about to get on this boy is like, yo, I ain't going front, bro. Yo, no misogynist tip, but girls, they can sell y'all anything, bro. They really can sell y'all anything. Probably, especially them dresses. Like, they could really, like, peer pressure y'all into buying Long, really short, sweet, now, or mermaid, open back, one shoulder. When I say this, shoulder. this is this is obviously a prom, John, and I know most girls want to go to prom because, you know, high school experience, memories, yada, 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 BS. You're not going to remember got the best like dress. a month. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stupid, John, you're not going to remember after three months, Ooh, but it's whatever. Yeah, who had the most um, feet? Anyway. You know what I'm saying, but bro, to to make a to have this almost be a billion dollar industry, bro, come on, bro, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah dollars this, annually, bro. and there are out. rental options for prom dresses, but fuck annually. that, baby, these girls need annually, to buy, buy, year? buy. They're not yeah. renting shit. They want to buy no. a six hundred dollar mermaid cosplay dress and then mm -hmm. never wear that thing again for the never. rest of their lives. That's just the culture. Never. The idea of owning that dress is part of what makes prom so special to these young ladies. Yeah. It's like a weird memento that they get to keep forever, just on a cozy night. You forgot about this day in three months. You don't care. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm not saying it's a time. I'm just like, yo, they be making excuses. I'm so tired of hearing excuses for people. I'm not, yo, I'm mainly tired of hearing excuses from myself. But yo, when people be coming with the most BS reasons, yo, it's supposed to be a memento. Baby, you got a purple and baby blue prom dress. You are never wearing this again. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Like, you're you actually chatting. You can't wear it again. Like, like, what? How like, dare you? You're going to wear that again? That is actual yap. Because we're then it's like, are oh, you wearing it again? But I thought this was just for your special prom day, though. Yeah, I See, think you wore that on prom. You I'm done with that, bro. Yeah, that's that. That's what are you that. Doing? And you're not gonna rip it up and make something else. You don't spend too much money on it. Ripping it up is not an option. You have to actually be brain dead. Like this dress is five hundred dollars plus five hundred plus dollars. I'm like, well, I, like what? I said, the, the dresses that they're wearing nowadays, they can take that lace and put it on some another that piece of material. <laughs> they can take that lace and, put, and them feathers because some of them dresses that's made with feathers. Yo, y'all, y'all, yo, y'all girls with the feathers on top, bro. Stop. It, it's dead. It's trash. Like I'm not gonna lie. It, 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 yo, we we don't think you're Cinderella. You can take it off. Like you know, Cinderella got feathers. No, I'm just giving an example because oh. they think they princesses when they pull up to this prom, John, knowing that you ain't even close to royalty. But no, it's no, like no. it's well, really tough, though. I don't know, Tuggers gonna get to this part but what now about everything <laughs> what about the proms that they pulling up in hearse now oh no coming out no mom he's gonna no he's gonna he's, talk about that he's gonna talk about that did you see the thumbnail for no, this I didn't see with this. the with the with the hummer limo in the back you ain't even see the thumb oh yeah no. he he's gonna talk about this oh yeah, my on. god hey, yeah. your closet okay. and giving that thing a good sniff to remember how the air hung thick with axe body spray on average that dress is gonna axe? cost you between 300 and 700 dollars and we're mm. not even talking about the most expensive ones get you a giovanni yeah. prom dress for three thousand dollars to show all those bitches at prom that your daddy loves you then when you get the dress you got to get your shoes you got to get your mm -hmm. hair done got to get your makeup done you know how on every other other night of the year girls will do their own makeup not tonight you gotta hire a very expensive fancy person to do your makeup mm -hmm. for you and i'm not gonna sit here and make fun of teenage girls prom makeup i'm sure it makes sense to them in a weird way but uh, this no it see you tug like no it don't make none <laughs> like bro 
yes i understand we're gonna take our pictures we want to look cute we want to be able to post them on the gram you know what i'm saying just so our friends will hype us up even though we know we look retarded mm. like you know what i'm saying it, 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 i know i know because trust me the dudes are doing the same thing but it's like bro i I don't understand where the logic is. Yo, listen, I'm just a hater. I, I don't know why. I don't I'm even know why. Because y'all, y'all going to tell me I'm a hater anyway. I'm, the, I'm supposed to be the adult. Like, no. It doesn't matter what this age is... you are. Like, this, it just... You couldn't do this yourself? So, I feel... Fake. I feel like you could have did this yourself. Like, I'm not, not talking about this... Like, not talking personally about this. I don't know how much she paid she or whatever. She probably couldn't get those rhinestones like, on, on her eyelids. Okay, that's She's... fine. Your mom, mom can't do this said, for Mom, you? auntie, your sister, I'm nothing. Like, what? Bro, they... She paid a lot of money This is that. weird. And all those extra things add up fast, because when girls were surveyed about how much they spent on mm -hmm. prom, on average, it was $1,139. Yikes. Whoa, costume change. Costume change? Eleven hundred. Almost twelve hundred dollars for three hours. And now they talking about you gonna change it to something else. No, no, I think that oh. was just tough. I think he about to do an advert. Oh, I was gonna say costume change. Nah. Now they change it. Yeah, cause he changed his shirt. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, oh, okay. maybe he had to do the video and like split All up right, the he video. He got his gold digger shirt. Anyway, on. that that's beside the point. For three hours, yo, prom be lasting max like five hours, bro. You maybe. spent you spent twelve hundred dollars minus if you even pulled up in a car or some junk like that. You know what I'm saying? On three hours? But you know, nowadays, oh, yeah, well, I don't know. It all depends bro. on where you're from and where you live. You got to get searched, okay? You got to stand online. You got to be there by a certain time. It's like a lot I mean, of that's, restrictions. That's understandable, yeah. No, no, it, it has heads, to be. That's because heads don't know how to be normal and be crashing out. Like It has it, to be. They just don't know how to be But I'm just though. saying, that three hours is not turn to two. <laughs> or maybe that five hours is <laughs> not turn to three. I don't know. Shoot, leave it to me. They got to get online for the Nancy food. food nah, food. I ain't okay, going <laughs> Yo, even, I could see that's the thing I kind of liked about our prom is like there was really no John to wait because this prom already heads weren't popping up. This prom was trash. But like, yo, if I had to wait, if I see that the line is going down a block from the school, I'm promise y'all by the time I even get to the table, I might as well. I'm I'll be like, yo, bro, whoever behind me, you can go ahead, bro. I'm going home. Like, I don't even want to be here no more. I spent like already 30% of the time in line. Like, bro, what are we talking about? Like, this John is so mid. Like, I can't even do it, bro. But what else? Uh, yo, yeah, yeah. Uh, Y'all have fun at child proms. I'm pretty sure it passed already, right? So, yeah, what next happened? Year. Did my mic die in the middle of me recording this and I recorded the rest of the video already and now I have to make the whole thing again? Yes, it did. Let's continue. So now that you've acquired yeah, that, that an outfit hurts. and a sense of dread, okay, let's talk about where changed. you go before prom. I mean, there's the typical meetup, which we call somebody's house. That's usually mm -hmm. where you end up before prom. Mm-hmm. I was the house we ended up at. Ah, thank you, thank you. I'll you, take my, you I'll take my applause. No, you didn't yeah. meet up there. No, you, you met at the girl. We all met. No, at the I know. Girl's I'm house. saying I'm the house we all ended up at. Yeah. Ended up at. The prom wind up here. Yeah, the prom. Yeah, we had. <laughs> I mean, boy literally. Lit. I ain't gonna lie. We had that boy lit. I yes. you. <laughs> it was fun. Nah, it, it was fun. fun. It was way fun. more fun I, than yeah. the actual prom. <laughs> we had fun. Whether you're going stag because you couldn't get it done, or you're going on a weird. But nowadays they go. Nah. The guys and the girls. I, no, no, I'm just going to say this right now. And call me a traditional bull, maybe, bro. I don't care what sexuality you are. I don't care. I don't care if you like actual stop signs. I always use that as a meme. Yo, bro, if you're going to prom with no date, bro, yeah, don't waste your time. I don't even know why you're doing this. Wait, like, but nowadays, no, the group nah. of guys and a group of girls go. Nah, Nobody it's, don't go. it's whack. Like, no, I, there's well, no point. Like, bro, you, it's a promenade so you could dance with your, like, your significant other. Some junk. Mm -hmm. We don't even got a girl or, 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 mm -hmm. no, or no dude or even a partner in general, depending no. on whatever your sexuality is. Some people are Why am I here? I'm going home. I actually, I'm not going home. I never popped out. This is like, bro, yo, as much as I love my mans, bro, I'm not going with you, bro. Like, uh, yo, they have people this for the girls. Nah, like, they doing what? that now. Bro, I'm not going with they you, They not doing homie. that. My group is going. Nah. Your group is going. They doing that. Then your group look, I'm going over there looking crazy because I ain't even. Quadruple mm. date. This is where you're going to end up being. It's usually the house of the parents of one of the kids in the group that you're hanging out with. And if you're lucky, it's a cool mom who's not going to notice you took a couple white claws out of the mini fridge in the garage. And if you're Super cool unlucky. Mom, yes. Cool date? No. It's going to be the parents of the prom date you're taking, which means you're going to have a lot of awkward conversations with a father who fully understands what you're trying to do with his daughter. You're going to end up taking pictures in front of a fight. Not me. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be like I'm the gentleman bull, but like, yo, I keep That's my attention. That's crazy. I keep my attention straight. I'm looking. He blurred out, except him, not him. And who's that other person? Everybody oh, else is, is. Is this him? I yeah, everybody's. Like, yeah, no, that's him. So everybody's blurred out except for um. Oh, so this must be like one of his men. Maybe, so. yeah. Yeah. No, that's him right there. Fireplace with a bunch of uh, yeah. family photos that's of people you don't really know. Or you're going to take pictures out on the lawn in the middle of June heat. Why the parents so aren't going to be able to work Why the camera so properly. And you're going to leave a pretty sweaty handprint on your date's back. So it's kind of a nightmare, but it's it only was 30 so minutes. It was so cringe. Like, I'm... No! 
Tug is giving me PTSD. It was so freaking cringe. Oh my god. And my friends, y'all don't understand. I love them to death. If they seen this video, I love y'all. But they're so freaking stupid too. They they are making the moments even worse. I'm like, bro, I just hate this. <laughs> Like, get closer. I'm like, get closer. I'm we like, nah. We I really don't that. like her. <laughs> I'm like, nah, let me chill. Let me chill. <laughs> like, we'll keep we'll saying, the get next closer. location, which is usually the. Oh, uh -oh. great. The main event. Go. So the moment is finally here. The one you'll remember for the rest of your life. You stumble remember. out of your mom's care. friend's crowded minivan into the painfully bright sidewalk. Convince a chaperone at the door. That I'm you sorry, though. I did I, I did walk out the limo feeling like I was that guy, though. I'm going <laughs> to keep it a buck. Now, we all did. As far as the guys, because, you know, obviously, I, bro, I ain't chatting with the girls. I, don't, <laughs> I ain't get, get on, bro. Uh, with the guys, I remember we all was stepping out. Yo, heads was feeling like the That depressing. limo was nice, though. I uh, lost out of that boy feeling like. Ooh, I no, might be him. Nice. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I definitely peaked in high school stuff. But anyway, you and your prom date are as sober as you can pretend to be. Enter into a oh, no, giant, dimly lit room you know full of blue and purple lighting, balloons, teachers, and all the kids you've been arbitrarily forced to hang out with for the past four years. Welcome nah. to prom. You can't escape. That was my family it's group. you're stuck here for a little bit, so so buck up. I mean, the first thing you can't escape about prom is the soundtrack. There's gonna be someone playing music, music and it's gonna be bad. With all the hype surrounding prom, it's easy to forget the main point of prom, which is to boogie. It's to, it's to get down on the dance floor, <clears throat> which is a bummer for any white boy like me out there who has all the rhythm of a dung beer. Or, I can't. <laughs> or a real bummer when we're supposed to be uh, social distancing six feet apart, but the actual dance floor is six feet in diameter in width. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, looks like we're not boogieing either. That's tough. <laughs> so what is what exactly is this event for? We just we just we just doing this to save face. Okay, where I feel it. I, and I just get cap. All right. And that pain will only be magnified by the prom DJ, someone who has given up completely in their life. So there are two types of prom DJs: the one who has the balls to play WAP in They Not Like Us to the dismay of every teacher and child. A minor. Just <laughs> dust off an old wedding playlist. Uh, Nothing says this night will define me for the rest of yeah, my I life like watching a bunch of teenagers pretending they're too it. cool I'm to do the YMCA ones. dance. And therein lies the paradox of the prom DJ. Much like the common water slide operator, to be good at your job, you must be an irresponsible. Responsible adult. Your whole business model is playing songs in front of teenagers that are about, let's be frank, getting pussy and doing drugs. But that's the only yeah. way you can do a good job <laughs> as a prom DJ. So good luck. Try not to look like a creep and try not to get arrested. Both of those things are going to be impossible for you. And speaking of the adults who don't want to see young ladies shaking their ass to Meg the Stallion, oh, no. let's talk about the adult chaperone. While you're busy grinding it out on the dance floor with your prom date, there's Nah, I'm glad I didn't even get the frame. Whatever. There's a I didn't bunch of care. teachers and parents just... watching you do that, which is nuts. On average, a teacher only makes about sixty-nine thousand dollars a year, which is not great. And you no, have to I make about a hundred. No, no, I'm about to say no, no, no. Actually, yo, this video's on, on average, problem, but I don't know really. If, how when was this? When was this last updated? 2017. Yo, okay, so 2017, the average teacher in your state miles making seventy bands. Yo, you make seventy bands? Who? Word. So yeah, the economy sucks. You're only makes anyway. about sixty nine thousand dollars a year, which is not like, great. And you have to make about one hundred and ten thousand dollars a year to own a home. So none of these teachers live in a house. So odds are your bedroom is probably bigger than the apartment your teacher lives in. And instead of going out on a Friday night and trying to jumpstart their sex life, they have to watch you have one all night. And then they go back to their oh shitty little God. apartment and watch yeah. Euphoria just to get a glimpse of what Life. it might be to be a kid again. So Life. you're basically yo, cutting I ain't gonna lie. Yo, yo, Tug is really meme about this type, John. But I need y'all to really understand, and this is no smile because. He, I could even say that this is a part of my life. Yo, like some heads life like is really wake up, eat, go to work, eat, sleep, and repeat that boy for a long time, bruh. This is why you see a lot of people now they be getting like burnout or they be questioning what's the point of even living or what what is the point of life because bro, their life is mm -hmm. just a continuous <clears throat> cycle like this. Yep. Like for him, like he just said, like uh, just said, like that John is terrible, bro. And then they the kind of argument that it's like, all right, well, go out and do something. <laughs> <laughs> with what money? No, no you killed it because I was oh, gonna sorry. be like, with what money? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we already make no money working our job. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? <laughs> yo, y'all people are. Yo, you know who's crazy? I feel like the people, the people who are the most rich, or who are who are the most rich, or have the most cheese, are always the most optimistic. You want to know why? Because you have the most chance for opportunities, bro. Oh my God. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy. But nah, mm -hmm. it, seriously though, even off of saying that, if you have dreams of passion, you should, no matter what resources you got or whatever, you should really be trying to go for your dreams. But like, no, no questions about that. 
Ken knife, which is not cool. So cut them some slack and don't be a dick about being a dick. Try and get laid, but don't, 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 nah, don't cool. do it in front of them. But let's talk about the people who are always going to be dicks, aka everyone around you, the kids. Problem isn't about some weird DJ or the teachers, it's about you and the friends around you. The kids you've known since everyone believed in Santa Claus and you all smelled like wet crackers and piss. And even though all of you were told you're special snowflakes with unique abilities and talents, you're not. You're all the same people. You are all archetypes. A copy of a <laughs> yeah. copy. And that's okay. Yeah. We all are. Yeah. But prom can take these archetypes to an extreme. So let me break down mm -hmm. some of the people you're gonna run into. We have the never gonna leave this small town kid. No prom is complete oh without the kids who got too drunk. He's about to go, oh no, he's about to go over to archetypes and I'm about to start hurting low key. I already know I'm about to start hurting. Okay. Of the never gonna leave this small town kid. Ah, uh, right. this is definitely a part of me. I can't even lie. Never gonna leave. Like, because, but you have to think, what, what is never gonna leave mean in this context? Like, never gonna leave because you're never gonna be anything or make any cheese to leave? Or it's just like, yo, bro, you just don't wanna leave your home. Because no, not that difference. you don't know. He's talking about like, just saying never gonna leave and got no life. They ain't done nothing. Dang. Well, yep, sounds like me. Next. <laughs> no prom is complete without the kids who got too drunk too early. College is. Nah, we didn't, we didn't have no alcohol. Really the time where you learn how to hold your liquor. It's where you put in your 10,000 hours and become an expert by playing games like beer pong and Edward Forty Hand. But these kids will never get what? their BA and ABV, what? so they might as well start learning now, and they're gonna do it. They're gonna learn real hard, real quick. They show up reeking like a bathtub distillery, awkwardly fumbling to find their ticket while they're blowing dragon breath into the- Where are they letting y'all get out? Because That's I feel like th was... this is not even possible. I was thinking, where are I'm they like, letting you, or is it because y'all are just- Because I know he did say earlier, like, you sneak your mom white claws or some john but like even so like they gonna smell like yo, you're not getting in i'm trying to figure yeah, out where like, tug where? is getting this aspect of this from because i'm like it all depends on where you live because i'm just like huh? i'm thinking because yeah obviously with that y'all i can only speak on the things that i've experienced i'm talking about my school my school this is not happening or my my old high school this is just not happening like this is just nah they not going for volleyball coaches face a lot of them even get caught in the act chugging nips on their way into the building their night is over That's before crazy, it like. began <laughs> the best of them are sent home and the worst of them have to deal with the cops but lucky for them they're gonna have a lot of of time to work on their livers for the next 30 years after they achieve their lifetime jobs at the box factory oh, on the no. outside of town. America runs on alcoholic. Next up, we have the kid oh I God. like to call the dancing Melvin. You guys know Melvin, right? The kid who's not that weird, but also not popular. He'd probably make some friends if he wasn't so shy, but sadly, his self-confidence sabotages his no, these social are really life. Well, miraculously, like, that's really at least crazy. once a prom, the high school Melvin realizes that the clock is ticking on his high school experience. In like a 90s teen movie, they push all their chips to the center and go all in on life. They get to the center of the dance floor and they hit the worm. They hit the Charleston. They're hitting the goddamn two-step. <laughs> Everyone thought Melvin was just the one of the mill version. <laughs> Nerd. But turns out they didn't go stag because they couldn't yeah, get a date. They went stag because <laughs> like, they had plan on thing. picking up everyone else's. Now they're Uncooked. absolutely killing it. There's a circle around them of all the popular kids. They're chanting his name. And every second he's killing it in that dance floor, his chances of getting laid are rising exponentially. Melvin, when we go back to school on Monday, you might go right back to being the quiet kid that no one remembers. But tonight... Oh, yeah, let me comment on this too, bro. And I guess y'all could call this cope. But yo, if you really care about clout in school, like being a popular kid, bro, I'm going to just tell you to dead that right now. Because the minute everyone in your school graduates, y'all all become nobody. Mm -hmm. So it's... It, it's yeah i'm just gonna let y'all off with that one bro you're yeah. the star in my heart also no one to stop no one to stop doing the dance because uh, when nerds get attention they don't know they just get addicted to that feeling mm -hmm. and then they go for too long and it gets a little awkward so just walk out on the biggest cheer biggest laugh just know when to stop okay mm -hmm. and then we have the aptly titled uh kids who cannot wait to have sex and they might not these kids are treating prom night like an episode of euphoria i've never seen euphoria but i know it's a, a bunch of kids having sex there's a tension to these couples that is right? almost been like a <laughs> cartoon like, stink line it's something about the music the lighting it just channels something within them that is uh, animalistic they unlock their jaws and shove their tongue down each other's throat like boa constrictors much to the it's already a fetus it's oh, like sorry. yeah first of all yo no shoes on bare feet on the ground you see that yo my bad hold on actually mom is spitting because she just changed my whole I'm job sorry, this yeah. right here is ridiculous bro keep yo yo i know you where she a girl whatever you usually don't wear socks or whatever but yo keep keep your heels on baby your feet is looking crazy but um yeah nah this is just nah you see old. some of these i can't relate with tug because this is just a non-factor too because at the time when i had prom social distancing so seeing anything like this was already gonna not be a thing but even if it was to be like nah not the heads at my school bro these 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 bulls nah these stay cool off this gym I keep saying Moscow. I don't go to Nirvana. I'm not claiming y'all boys. <laughs> you it, it was in school. Uh, it, it, was. it was. Not no more. I asked every teacher watching. Eventually leading to very public over the pants stuff, which, hey, 
Let's stop nah, that, maybe. Crazy. And then nah, one kid crazy. sees they're doing like, it, and then he's like, oh, I might as well do it with my prom date. And then you start a chain reaction of horniness, which is not good. And nah, I understand you're a 17 year old boy, which means that your brain is sitting shotgun while your wing works the pedals, but just have an ounce of self respect. Nah. And finally, last but not least, we have the royalty, something that confuses me to no end. So we have to pay homage to it's... prom's roots, okay? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Who are we gonna glaze the most tonight? <laughs> like, bros. Nah, let me stop, bro. Uh, uh, let me chill. I know, I'm pretty sure the prom king from Ajahn was my man Zay, so shout out. Right. We have prom queens and kings. Remember that weird thing that we do? Because we need to make it obvious to the collective whole that some people are just better than others. Mm -hmm. For some yeah. reason, I don't get it. The tradition yeah. started yeah. in the mm -hmm. 50s yes. and was they generally based that. off of three categories. Beauty, poise, and popularity. Which is really mean. Really mean. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just like... <laughs> so, objective physical attraction. Nice. On a high schooler, by the way. Okay, poise. Fine, that's how you carry yourself. I can give you that. If you have a good demeanor, you know what I'm saying? You keep yourself nice. You cordial. Great. Clout, bro. Oh, just perfect, bro. You know this is this the the um BPP facts, bro. Mm -hmm. We go, yo, keep keep it stand, bro. Just know for y'all when you get in school, forget what I just said. Clout, you know what clout does matter. When you get in school, walk in first day as a freshman. BPP, this is what you need to be worried about. As mm -hmm. soon as you walk in, mm -hmm. not your academics, your year. <laughs> not not your academics, none of that, bro. Who cares? Not passing gym, none of that, bro. We we don't care about not not having perfect attendance, none of that. BPP. Factual, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You know but what we should do? We should put kids through a literal popularity contest on the most important night of their lives. That won't have any adverse effects on their mental health. Like most things from exactly. the 50s, uh, it's weird, but we just kind of let it slide for posterity's sake. Like how your grandparents mention the race of everybody in their stories for no reason. It doesn't add to the plot. They just need to let you know that a black... <laughs> <laughs> I you I'm, that. Like, I'm looking at her mouth for the gold. I'm just like... I'm just like kind of accurate elderly people but uh, but but obviously we all we all objectively know yeah they grew up during a time of segregation so obviously you know <laughs> they might point out a little bit of she got a grill she got a grill that's what i was nah but grandma up. nah seriously though grandma teeth either really rotted or some joke no. or, or she popping the newest no, uh she got a gold grill she she was visiting johnny dang it, it was looking nice <laughs> I ain't gonna Guy was there. but as cringe as it is to watch two kids hit their lifetime peak right in front of you as plastic crowns are uh the high school peak uh yeah, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all right now, do your absolute best within your whole life. I don't even care if you you don't be, end up becoming a billionaire, a millionaire or something. Do not peak in high school, bro. Please don't peak in high school. Because, like, bro, and you know someone has peaked in high school when the only good things that they really talk about that has happened in their life <laughs> came from what time in their life? I'm sorry, I can't point at the junk. Came from what time in their life? High school prom? Yeah. No, not prom spill. I'm just saying. What's what's some high school junk? Mm -hmm. Like for instance, if you got a one friend that always mentioned like, yo, bro, y'all remember when I got that one touchdown and back in the back in the bro. <laughs> bro, we're 30. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, like, what is he chatting what have you about? Done in the last five years. Like, <laughs> oh no, nah, I mean <laughs> eat, sleep, work. <laughs> like, bro, what? Nah, bro. Adorned on yeah, their foreheads. Nice. It's even worse when the royal court becomes a virtue signaling massive circle jerk. So this is going to sound mean, but you just got to stay with me. No, okay? it's not. Every it's year, be the there's truth. a feel-good story about a kid with a horrible illness or a Down syndrome uh, kid getting I know what he's talking in. about. Yeah. 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 They got to stop doing this. Because I feel like this This is what I be talking about when when I be trying to get the, the joan between. When people be like, oh, yeah, retarded is a bad word. Don't say that, joan. Or whatever. And between retarded and like when someone has like a mental disability or mental disorder. Bro, doing something like this is e putting even more fuel on their fire. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I get it. We should understand and appreciate what they're going through or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't undermine them. But at the same time, y'all doing this virtual signaling, John, bro. If this was me, I wouldn't be happy about this, John, because I only know y'all giving this to me. Why? You feel bad for me. You pitying me, bro. What? Y'all got to stop doing this, bro. Y'all making it worse for them, bro. Stop. Like, it's just not cool to be king or queen of prom and honestly i don't know if it's okay or not i don't know if it's that's not. cool i don't know I don't about think you but i feel like with people in that situation you should treat them big, like normal human beings and not pawns in a hallmark movie script and like a, you're using them for inspiration it's weird it's weird right i just feel like whenever someone's in that situation you're voting them in to make yourself feel good not the person there mm -hmm. no this is what i'm saying mm -hmm. and he said yo tug is saying currently in a digging hallmark a hole movie script. Script. and like a, you're using them for inspiration He's saying currently dig a hole, and I understand because yo Tuck got a big platform. He got a lot to lose. 
Me, I am not going to sit here and virtue signal for y'all is cooked, bro. I'm going to tell you the straight up truth because heads don't want to do it, bro. Like, yo. It's on, weird. It's going. weird, right? I just feel like whenever someone's in that situation, you're voting them in to make yourself feel good, not the person there. Exactly. And that's exactly what I just said, too, mm -hmm. because like, bro, you're doing this to pity them. So you think so you think in your head you're doing a good thing. When realistically, bro, you're making it worse for them, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not to make yourself look good it, which... to, to make yourself not only feel gratified, but it's like, oh, yo, man, I just did a good thing, bro. Bro, no, you didn't, bro. Everyone in the room did the same thing because y'all love virtue signaling. It's hilarious. But yeah, bro, it's tough. It seems selfish. I don't know. Maybe they love it. I don't know. I don't know. And let's not forget about the poor guy who should have won prom king based of 1950s criteria. What about him, the beautiful man? He'll never get his beautiful moment in the sun before he rides into the sunset of wasted potential. The next time you see him, he'll be at a hometown bar, sad, bloated, and probably riddled with CTE. But only oh, if you no. gave him a crown. Only if you... He could have been somebody. He could have been a contender. Sarcasm, yeah. See, that's mm -hmm. how I'm feeling. Like, yeah, cause it, I, and I know at the end of the day, I can't even blame y'all for the heads. That's like, oh yeah, like I'm saying all this stuff, but then you're like saying I'm a hypocrite or whatever. I can't even blame you, cause yeah, that is true. Some of these things, I'll fully admit, some of these things do apply to me currently. Currently. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if we don't get past this by 25, then you, then y'all could have it. Y'all could have it if we don't get past it by 25. You got. Mm -hmm. And then we have after prom. Uh, Yay, the trip! Please. I don't know if I can talk about this, quite honestly. Some kids uh, go back to uh, the house that they originally came from and they have a little party under parent supervision. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes schools will do like a complete lockdown after prom, which is smart. They should do that. This is when they lock kids into either the school itself or they'll like rent out an entire theme park and keep them there until like six in the morning. Not only is this oh, yeah, smart because uh, you don't want babies dumb. being born at the age that. of 17, but another horrible reason that you want to lock kids up after prom is because of drunk driving, yep. which is a mm -hmm. big issue. There was a survey that mm -hmm. uh, revealed 31% of teens reported they or their friends would be using drugs or alcohol during prom, which is not great. And of the teens who drink on prom, 53% are having four or more drugs. Please what? tell me this is fake. What is, yo, yo, the, baby over here, I hope she's, this is just a, like a. Like, is she cooked? Like, I, like, I, I she's feel like. through the window. If she was. If, like, she, if she was deceased, I'm pretty sure Tug would cover this, right? Because this is crazy. yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is must be like one of those um, like reenactment. Yeah, yeah. So they could let you know what could happen and not to do whatever because oh, there's no yeah. way. I'm looking at this like. <laughs> like, oh. drink, so that's not good to drive. And 90% of teens expect their friends to drink and drive on prom night. My God, what the fuck? I don't get it. What? Bro, hold Duh. on, hold on. Cause drive, and this, this, teens this right here is a solid one minute rant for me coming coming straight off the press. You expect your mans to drink and drive, and you have nothing to say? Oh my god, <laughs> we're cooked, yo. Yo, I'm trying to tell y'all, humanity is done for. You, may, you know your mans was scarfing down the white claws, and I don't even care them IPAs is garbage. You, I'm, I'm not even feeling them, Jones. But like, bro, I don't care if my mans had one brewski. He, he, you, you see your mans clawing down the white claws, my mans got a shot, he, he lit. And you like... He's driving himself home today. Facts. <laughs> yeah, you're not my man's. You just gonna let me die? I word. I feel it. Nah, yeah, yeah, you. That's not really a man's. So let, let's change this. Ninety percent of teens expect people to drink and drive on prom night because these aren't your friends. Because mm -hmm. a friend, somebody you really value in your life, you're not letting them do this mm -mm. retarded crap. Are you retarded? Teens like expect it? their friends to drink and drive on prom night. My God, what the fuck? And eighty-seven percent of survey teens would rather drive under the influence than call their parents for a ride. You just get dumber and dumber. <laughs> no, I have no, no, no. I I have to make no, no. I have to no, no, no. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what camera I would. Yo, yo, y'all. The only thing y'all care about is cloud. That's it. That is the only thing. Oh my god! Like eighty-seven percent. I. What was the? I need to know that. Like the 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 out of what? Like the amount of people? Like mm -hmm. I I need to know. Like is this millions? Like. Wh 87 would rather would rather almost kill themselves than just call your mom bro i don't care if i'm yo i don't care if i'm that bull let's say i'm a famous rapper i don't care what's going on i'm teed up uh, i'm drunk i'm surrounded by all the bitties uh, da, da. bro if you think i'm about to still drive myself i don't care if my mom come get me and i look dumb at least i'm still alive <laughs> like at least i'm not a corpse uh, at least, at least I couldn't almost cause another person's death mm -hmm. because uh, I'm drinking and driving. What are y'all like? Yo, bro, if you really care about clout this much, bro, I need to tell you right now, and, and, and you could even hit it back to me, but if you care about clout, if clout is the number one priority in your life, bro, your life is irrelevant, bro. You need to change your dreams or something. Like, I don't know what's I, going on. So, that's crazy. That's a good reason to lock them in. Anyway, um, after prom, kids have sex. 
Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know how to talk nasty. about that. Some kids get hotel rooms. That nasty. happens sometimes if the parents are cool. Nah, uh, but uh, I, I don't, that's crazy to me that a dad's like, yeah, use my credit nasty. card to get banged. But it's also yeah, interesting nasty. because a lot of people assume you lose your virginity on prom night, which is not true. I had to do some research on that and now I'm on a list, but I do have the numbers. 14% of girls report having sex on prom night, which is not that many, but only 5% yeah, are care. losing their virginities on prom night. So they're losing it before yeah, that anyway. Care. And only 3% of boys are losing their virginity on prom night. So a lot of yeah. sex is not happening. On prom night. It's just crazy how much effort a guy will put into prom for the hopes. This of is fire. I'm gonna keep it a stack. This, this is that color is getting laid. Look at you have a three in a hundred yeah. chance no, of getting that's it hard. done. Yeah, that, but hey, that's hard. them's good odds to a 17 year old. I'm not gonna blame you. So I would just say to relax. That's what I would say to anyone going to prom. Just relax. Just agreed. have fun with your buddies. Don't worry about having too much fun. It's just another night. It's a stupid night. Nothing ruins fun like pressure because pressure is pain and pain isn't fun. New videos every Saturday and Wednesday sometimes. I don't know. Things have been going bad in my life recently. Oh, and if you Aww. still own a prom dress, uh, please <laughs> comment down below and let me know what you're doing with that thing. I don't know why you'd keep that. All right, I, I, I want to know the oldest person in my comment section who still has a prom dress. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Shout out who still has a prom dress? The oldest person still has a prom dress. Oh, wow. Don't, not me. <laughs> yeah, and no, I ain't even no point in keeping that, boy. Mind. But, yo, that's Big Tug, the horrible American tradition of prom. Obviously, if you want to watch the original video, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to be down here somebody to give your own opinions and conjecture. Again, shout out Tug. Please go mm -hmm. subscribe to Big Tug. Yes. His videos are obviously excellent. Like we cool. be watching them all the time, you know what I'm saying? Love you, Tug. It's, mm -hmm. it's live, love, laugh, and Tug, bro. Stop mm -hmm. playing, bro. We, we chilling. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, mom, any closing regards for, you know, we head out of here. Oh, Got no. more videos to check out. No, they, he didn't talk about those um, crazy um, prom... Oh, I guess yeah, we can comment on yeah. that. Yeah, uh, bro, just let your mom or somebody drive you to prom, bro. Don't spend it. Yeah, don't, don't spend don't no spend money on a limo money on or some limo. stupid joint, bro. It's dumb. Oh my god. Uh, we yeah. made that mistake. I mean, granted, I, we didn't pay the full John. It's not we paid the whole John, but yeah, still none of the cheese should have went to that because we didn't need it in the first place. <laughs> but um, yeah, don't don't waste your time. Don't force don't don't force yourself to do a prom proposal and embarrass yourself. I, I'm really hefty on that. Don't do that. That that that's about to just if you don't got somebody to go with you. Either and if you want to go, either figure it out in a cordial way or don't go, cause I don't know, bro. Don't don't ruin your life or <laughs> ruin your image or something because mm -hmm. of this. But yeah, am I anything for you? No, man? that's it. So yeah, y'all. Um, we gonna head out of here, mom. Go ahead, right. tell them. Hit what to that do. thumbs up button, okay? Make sure, comment, comment about your prom, comment where your prom was at, comment. I don't know. Some maybe he missed out about proms. The <laughs> horrible American tradition that they're having, like some yeah. of the ones I mentioned. Yeah, it is um, terrible. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe on the road to 3K, okay? And then look for that blue dot. Turn on that post notification bell so that every time ASS family, family. post new video, that boy be fresh, hot, spicy, fiery, and always in your feet. They know how we get down. Yeah, that boy Trill. I am mom. And <laughs> y'all have fun with them proms, y'all. Peace. Peace.